everyone. My name is Jim Toomey. Um, I'm a group reporter for the Bomb Calorimeter um, experiment, uh, and this is my, my presentation. Uh, so, so, just to kind of give an outline, I'm um, going to start with an introduction, um, then we'll talk about the objectives for the experiment, uh, then we'll go into the theory a little bit, uh, talk about the equipment that we used, <laughs> then we'll do some calculations, um, have conclusions, and then we'll have time for questions at the end. Um, so just a brief introduction, uh, the bomb calorimeter is used to measure the heat liberated um, in combustion uh, of a material. Um, yeah, so basically the heat that is released um, through combustion. Um, and this is really accurate uh, and, and is what is mainly used um, in, in real world applications. Um, so the objectives of this experiment um, was just to become familiar with um, this process, how it works, um, the theory behind it, uh, that sort of thing. Um, we also want to determine the thermal capacitance of the calorimeter, as well as the um, gross heat of combustion of the sample, which in, in our case was a small piece of candy. Um, so, um, like I had mentioned, the heat of combustion is it's the amount of heat that is released through combustion. Um, and this can be calculated using the first law of thermodynamics. So Q equals MCBVT, um, and uh, for, for the heat of combustion for the calorimeter, it would be MCV of the calorimeter is equal to the total heat transfer divided by the change in temperature. Um, up here, we've got the equipment that we plan to use. So um, at number one, we've got the igniter. Um, number two, there's the uh, the actual bomb. Um, we also have to use a laptop uh, with the program that's going to record all the data for us. So it'll be recording um, the temperature change in the water. Um, the thermocouple is what's actually recording the temperature. Um, and we've got a motor actually to stir the water just to uh, mix it around and, and uh, hopefully have an even temperature distribution. So these are our results after running the experiment. Um, as you can see here, it started around 21.25 degrees Celsius, and it increased about 2.25 degrees Celsius throughout the span of the experiment. Um, shown here is the wire that we finished with. When we first started, um, it actually was a full 10 centimeters. Um, and so the amount of wire that burned <coughs> off corresponds to the amount of calories that was used um, to, to, to burn the wire. Next slide. And in order to calculate the thermal capacitance of the benzoic acid, um, we would start with the mass of the benzoic acid sample, which was about 0.98 grams. Um, and we know the heating value of benzoic acid uh, just by uh, either looking on the container um, in the lab or um, researching online, and you'll find that it's 26.5 uh, millijoules per kilogram. Um, and so then you can calculate the heat transfer for, for the benzoic acid. So it's gonna be the mass of the sample times the heating value, um, you get that heat transfer value. Uh, and then the heat transfer for the wire, um, as I mentioned, it corresponds to how much of the wire burned. Um, so um, you would multiply the amount of wire that was burned off by 4.18 joules, and we found that there was a heat transfer 75 joules uh, that went into burning the wire. Um, and so through this, you can calculate thermal capacitance um, of the bomb calorimeter, and we found that it was uh, about 11.6 kilojoules per degree Celsius. And then for the piece of candy, we ran the same experiment and we saw that the change in temperature was about 1.6 degrees Celsius. And here we can see that um, almost, or a little bit more than half of the wire was burned off um, when we uh, bomb with the candy. And 
evidence that I've shown here. This is the candy that we used, um, this little sour watermelon candy. Um, and using the uh, calculated um, MCV value from uh, before, we can multiply that by the change in temperature from uh, that we saw when um, uh, combusting the candy. And we can see how much heat transfer total was used in this portion of the experiment. Then we can subtract the amount of heat transfer um, that went into uh, combusting the wire. Um, and we can find the amount of heat transfer that went into the piece of candy. <laughs> Um, after we have the heat transfer that went into the candy, we can divide it by the mass of the candy, which was about a gram, and we get 18.4 uh, megajoules per kilogram. Um, so, um, in conclusion, the thermal capacitance of the calorimeter was um, about 11.6 uh, kilojoules per cel degree Celsius, um, and we calculated the heating value of the candy uh, to be about 3,500 3, calories per gram, um, or my bad, 4,400 calories per gram, which is a little bit larger than what was listed on the container. All right, anyone have any questions? Cool. Thanks. Thank you.